Star Wars fans, bad news as it appears as though we will not see The Mandalorian Season 3 until late 2022. No! Don't panic, I think everything is gonna be okay. Let's talk about updates around the Book of Boba Fett Mandalorian Season 3. I have heard some absolutely crazy things. Let's get into it. What's up, everybody? It's Josh coming at you from Nerdvengers Tower as per usual. And yes, unfortunately, it seems like it's going to be some time before we see season three of The Mandalorian. I'll see you again. Saul began with a post on Reddit that blew up in the Star Wars League subreddit. I'm putting it on the screen for you right here. And this seemed to be documentation of a shooting schedule for The Mandalorian season three. And it says that the show will film from September 20th to March. 23rd of next year and many people picked up on this before anybody confirmed it and we're talking about this as a possibility and talked about how it seemed like this was real documentation and if it was real it would indicate that we wouldn't see the mandalorian season three until christmas time of next year because you need plenty of time to handle post-production and to do all the cool effects and leave time for possible reshoots for this show now i actually speculated a long time ago that this would be when we would see the mandalorian season three just because i knew they were going to spend a lot of time on book of boba fett that there may have been some conflict between pedro and the studio and pedro did sign a big deal to be the star or one of the stars of the hbo series the last of us it's an adaptation of that crazy popular video game and he is playing the character of Joel so because that was going to take up a large amount of his time it was very unlikely they would be able to film Mandalorian season three with Pedro until sometime next year but there seemed to be a bunch of speculation in the past couple of months that threw some water on that there were people saying that they thought the Mandalorian season three had already been filming that they were filming some stuff with Pedro and that you might see that show early next year more or less right after the book of boba fett and if you recall we covered some of these conflicting reports i remember talking about how jordan mason came out and said that he thought that the mandalorian season three had already been filming when some other people were talking about how it had not even started filming so there was some confusion like maybe it would have come out earlier than christmas of next year but now it really does seem like it's going to be in christmas as bespin bulletin who is a very good junket has very accurate sources yeah they came out and confirmed that according to their sources this production schedule is accurate again looking like we won't see the mandalorian season three until late 2022 now, I want to add a couple of things here before we talk about those reports, those conflicting reports of how Mando 3 was filming. I actually think I know what was going on there, but I want to say that regardless of the fact that we will not see this show for a long time, the book of Boba Fett is really going to feel like the Mandalorian season three or the Mandalorian season 2.5. A lot of the characters from the Mandalorian and the Mandalorian season two are going to pop up in the book of Boba Fett. And I don't want to go too crazy into spoilers, but there are a lot of rumors of characters like Din Djarin, Grogu, maybe even other characters from the mandalorian including luke skywalker who yes i do believe is going to be in the mandalorian season three and in the book of boba fett basically if it's got din Djarin, if it's got grogu and if it's got boba then it's gonna really feel like it's just living in that mando world so you know the people that are upset that oh my goodness it's gonna be so long until we see season three well you're kind of gonna get to live in that world with grogu the mandalorian you know din and with boba by the back half of the book of boba a lot of signs point to it kind of feeling just like the mandalorian but now let me tell you something juicy i heard out there and i'm going to report this as a rumor but it is some stuff that i heard from some good sources like dude trust me bro he's he's a great guy that dude trust me bro and this actually would explain what jordan mason was talking about on twitter when he was like hey i thought mandalorian season three already was filming you know i don't know if these people are saying it's not but i heard it was and it would also explain that awkward moment in the interview that Pedro Pascal and Ewan McGregor did together where they were just talking to each other about their experiences filming Star Wars. And if you'll recall, there's a moment where Ewan McGregor says to Pedro Pascal, oh yeah, because you guys are filming 
filming season three right now and Pedro kind of awkwardly says back, we're not filming and we're not filming season three. That's not happening. And like, there's this kind of awkward moment between them. Well, you see what I heard was even though officially the shooting for Mandalorian season three had not started, John and Dave and some of the actors for the Mandalorian would go in on weekends while other Star Wars productions were shooting during the week. This could be the Book of Boba Fett. This could be the Kenobi show. Those were the two big shows that were shooting on the soundstage over in Los Angeles throughout this past year. And so this would explain why maybe Jordan Mason heard that there was filming for the Mandalorian season three happening because Technically, it was with a skeleton crew on the weekends while they were shooting Kenobi. And it would also explain why Ewan McGregor made those comments to Pedro because they likely saw each other or were in some kind of communication passing on the set. If you'll recall, apparently Ewan McGregor came in during the filming of season uh, two, I believe, of The Mandalorian to try on the Obi-Wan Kenobi gear for the first time. You see the volume, it's this awesome freaking place where everybody wants to shoot at. And so while Mandalorian was filming, they came and did a little bit of test photography on the volume for the Kenobi show. And so, you know, with the volume and the technology that Lucasfilm now has, they can juggle a lot of different things and secretly shoot stuff without the vast majority of a crew for projects kind of, you know, more in secret. And we even saw some of this in that gallery episode of The Mandalorian where they were talking about how they hid Luke Skywalker from even the actors that were in scenes with him. Now, the Book of Boba Fett shot for a long, long time, and I think this is a very long shooting schedule for The Mandalorian Season 3. And when you couple in the fact that they were shooting stuff kind of in secret for months and months and months, and John and Dave are just workaholics and they love this world, so they're always creating, I think we can be guaranteed a season of the book of Boba Fett that blows our collective minds as Star Wars fans and takes us in a crazy direction that will then be paid off in The Mandalorian season three, as I think it's gonna directly tie into the end of Book of Boba Fett. And I expect The Mandalorian season three to be epic as hell. But before we get out of here, let's talk about that crazy Obi-Wan Kenobi show as it seems like we might be getting the Kenobi show early next year in 2022, which is a wonderful surprise. Okay, so this is just being reported as a rumor. I saw this pop up on the Star Wars Leaks subreddit, and it all has to do with some book listings. And these are like the type of listings that are actually for distributors or chains of places that order books like Barnes and Nobles. And within this listing, it is talking about how they're listing a book called Be More Boba Fett, and it is going to be releasing to media tie-in, which will release around the same time as the show does. And interestingly enough, they are also talking about Obi-Wan Kenobi books that will appear in June of next year, and they are following that same media tie-in philosophy. And so what a lot of people are taking away from this is, you will see a media tie-in and a release of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series in June of 2022. And whoa, wow, we were. That would be absolutely amazing. I think the Kenobi show is going to be epic as heck. Honestly, probably one of the most hyped things in Star Wars. I think we may well get back to that fever pitch level of hype that we had before The Force Awakens when there's all this mystery and excitement. And I think this could be one of the things that's just unanimously celebrated amongst the fan base. I have heard insane things about the Kenobi show. You know, we've talked about some of the rumors here. I won't go into them here on this video, but man, I'm excited about that. And as we get closer to the show, I am excited to talk about even more things coming to Kenobi. So 2022, the year of Star Wars. You're going to get probably Obi-Wan Kenobi early on in the year. And then later on in the year, you are going to get The Mandalorian Season 3, which I think is going to be epic. But those are all the updates and what I have heard about it. Would love to know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to this channel to see more of our updates in your recommended feed. And go check out our live streaming channel where we live stream all the freaking time. Talking about all these nerdy things that we love. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day. And I'll see you in the next video.